today on Crash Test Danny. Hi Danny. Danny works at a highly professional and top secret crash test research facility. It's Danny's job to answer questions about the world we live in. And there's the professor. Danny uses special equipment and carefully planned experiments to explain science. Yeah, very scientific. Better get to work, you two. You're late. Professor! Come on, Danny, pick your skateboard up. There's a new question waiting for you. Hi, Danny. My name's Mahmoud. My dad's crazy because he thinks my skateboard's a machine. And I thought machines were supposed to be big and complicated. Is he right? Ah, a chance to look at everything from corkscrews to diggers. Better get those mechanical legs of yours switched to run, Danny. There's no time to lose. Today, Danny, we'll be talking about work. No, not that sort of work. Work is a scientific term for moving an object with force. Oh, I think the professor wants you. Got a lot of cardboard boxes. I think he wants your help to move them to the canteen. And I'll tell you what, if you used a machine, that would help you do the work. No, 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 not quite, Danny. A machine can be something just very simple, a screw or a ramp. They're both things that make work easier. Oh, look, tomato soup. Well, I reckon those boxes are going to be heavy. What you should use is some sort of trolley. Oh, look, there's one now. How convenient. I didn't actually mean a tea lady's trolley, but I guess it'll do the job. The wheels and axles act as a simple machine to overcome friction and make the work easier. And do you know what? I think the professor quite fancies the tea lady. Oh, don't let her do all the work. That's helpful, Danny. But I think the professor's getting jealous. Oh, come on now. Come on, stop fighting, you two. Oh, they're at it again. Look, this isn't helping us study machines at all, is it? <laughs> Professor! Oh, I just want the tea lady all to himself. It looks a bit heavy, Danny. Why don't you give it to the professor to hold? Yeah. That's right. Oh, dear. See, I was right. Using the trolley made that whole job a lot easier, didn't it? Although it did tire out the professor, it seems. Work is done when a force moves an object. In this case, Danny needs to move a giant stone. He tries to move it, but it won't budge very far. Ah, as we've seen, wheels and axles are simple machines that help us do work, invented thousands of years ago. Good work, Danny. Now you can move that pretty easily, thanks to the wheels. Just give it a bit of a push and... Oh. Oh. Well, now you're stuck in a ditch. How are you going to get out of that? I'd recommend using a pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a rope passing over it, making it easier to lift an object. The pulley is attached to a solid object, which takes a lot of the weight. Hooray! No, don't let go, Danny, no! Don't let go! Oh! Oh, no. Ah, there you are, Danny. So, what's up now? Your leg's not working. Well, how on earth has that happened? Oh, that's the problem with machines, you see. Sometimes they break down and need to be repaired. Ah, the professor and his stepladder. They go everywhere together.
Now, Professor, you'll have noticed that Danny's legs aren't working. Um, you're going to need to do something about that, probably. And you're not too impressed with Danny's lack of mobility, are you? And you've got a bulb to change. Well, look, Danny can't move. You're going to have to change it yourself. Oh, still aching from shifting all your cans of soup, I see. What are we going to do? Ah, bright idea. So, what is the idea? Where's he off to? Yeah, it's a bulb, Danny. Oh, a pulley. Of course, this is going to help Danny lift himself up. This is going to be an excellent demonstration of how a simple machine can help us do work. Ah, oh, you just pulled Danny's pants out. I didn't even know he wore pants. I thought he went commando. Oh, well. Attach the hook properly, Professor, this time. And use a safety harness as well. Safety at all times, viewers. OK, Danny, let's get the safety harness on you. Attach the pulleys, and then you'll be able to crank yourself up into the air. How's it looking, Professor? All safe? All right. Clip that on. Good. Well done. All right, Danny. Get cranking. Now, that ratchet means that Danny can lift his own weight without having to use much effort. It's a cracking little machine. Up he goes. Up he goes. Look at his poor, useless legs. Oh! Oh, the professor's noticed... Oh, he's actually noticed what might be wrong with one of Danny's legs. One of his batteries has run out. Well, get that new one in then. Screw it back on. Yep, that was the problem. Looks like they're coming back to life. They don't call him a professor for nothing. Actually, they do. Oh, careful. Oh! Oh! Watch out, Professor. That wasn't very nice, Danny. I think you better let yourself down. Yeah. Your legs have been recharged, so now put them to good use. Oh. Just unclip you, then. Everything all right now? Oh. Professor? Yeah? Seems like you've got a bit of fine-tuning to do. Or just put him in a wheelbarrow. That's what I'd have done. Large machines are made out of lots of little smaller ones. Gears, levers, cams, all working together to help the machine do its job. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, even a gadget as simple as a corkscrew includes a wheel and axle, gears, levers and, of course, a screw. Cheers! So, what's the professor doing? Trying to bang that sign into the ground. Well, the ground is too hard, Professor. You're going to need something more powerful than a hammer. Well, I'm not sure that's more powerful than a hammer. That's just Danny. You need to find a spade, Danny. It's two machines in one. A wedge to cut through the soil and a lever to lift it out with. No, that's just a bucket and spade, a tiny one. I think the professor's going to need something better than that. The rake's not going to do the job, is it? See if you can find something else. Anything lying around? A wheelbarrow. Well, it's a good machine, but it's not right for us. This is proving to be a problem. Where are we going to find something that's big enough and strong enough to help the professor? What are we going to use? Blimey! That's massive! Do you think that'll handle the job? Well, at least the bucket and spade came in handy. And here comes the digger. I imagine being driven by a professional digger driver, as you'd expect in this sort of situation. And, uh, Professor, there's something behind you. Well, I don't think he's seen it. Uh, I think he might be getting closer. Professor? Oh, hang on. That's Danny at the controls. Danny, I didn't know you'd passed your heavy digger driving test. Can't, can't the professor even hear it? Uh, 
Oh, she's looking for Dave. Wondering where Danny is. He's been gone a while. Oh, Danny! What? Perhaps he hasn't passed his heavy digger test. Oh, no, this could go really badly wrong. Professor, you need to look behind you. Professor, I think Danny's out of control. Professor, wake up! Danny, you've got to stop the machine. It's going to hit the professor. Danny, oh, it's going to... Oh, that was close. I think Danny knew what he was doing all along. He's an expert. Should we dig a hole, Danny? And here he goes, then, digging a hole with a digger. What a brilliant machine that is. I wonder where you can get them. I could really do with a digger. Plus, Danny will lend me his. That really is a good hole. Happy, Professor? I need to dig a really big pond in my garden. I've got some sharks and I don't know where to keep them. Well, there's a job well done. Yes, I think you two should be very pleased with yourselves. Something has finally gone right that you two have done. You're going to plant the sign now, Professor? Oh, I spoke too soon. But it's still an amazing machine. Thanks, Danny. That's great. But I think that hole's a bit bigger than the Professor wanted. Yeah, I think you may well be right. See you next time. <laughs>